guys, we are live on Facebook with Slice. It's our food challenge show, and today we are doing the leftover makeover challenge, one of our favorite challenges. And our chef today is Derek Lucci. Hello. You're from Make Bistro, and you make Thai food. I do, yeah. I'm obsessed with Thai food, actually. Obsessed, obsessed with Obsessed would it. be the word. So let's all know that it's going to be Thai related. It has this to be. This leftover <laughs> makeover challenge. So it has to be haven't seen our dish. This is our leftover dish. And I'm going to reveal it now. And you're going to have to make something out of it. Pork chops. Oh. What do oh. you think about these pork I th chops? Well, well, I don't know what it's marinated. I'm going to have to taste <laughs> it. But I do know pork is very big in Thailand. It's it like it is. rains. It is. Oh, well, this yeah. is good for you. Yeah. And I'm going to let you get familiar with our kitchen okay. while I talk to our guest judge. We have a very special foodie judge. <coughs> Tessa Gluck, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And you run the foodie blog. I and do. so far you've heard me talk to Derek and he's likely gonna be making something Thai related. What are your thoughts on Thai food? Love Thai food. Nice, let's check on Derek in the kitchen. And what do you got so far for us? Um, I'm thinking a Thai salad of some sort. Salads are one of my favorite things. It's a really bright way to kind of make, make over your leftovers actually. Um, Something that's gonna, you know, just brighten up your day. So um, let's put that 20 minutes on the clock. Leftover makeover challenge. Derek, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So, yes. So what are, what are your thoughts on pork chops in general, Tessa? I like pork chops. I think they're, like you said, really good when it comes to Thai food. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited to see what he comes up with. So, Derek, what are you doing now? Is he chopping up? Yeah, some like things? Thai salads are all about like fresh, you know. So you have some kind of pungency from shallots, which I love, and I'm going to use some lemongrass, kind of give it an herbaceous feel and like floralness. And it's going to be heavy on herbs, I'm thinking. I'm also toasting some rice over here. Um, cooking some rice, but I'm also toasting some rice because I want to put that in the dressing. And that's a very unique rice cooker thing that you have there. Can you explain what it is? Um, yeah, it's it's called like a, in English a Thai sticky rice basket and it's what's used in, originated kind of in Laos or northeastern regions and it's you'll see it all over the street specifically to cook rice because the rice is not making direct contact with the water. I don't need to do anything with this pork. It's good. And do you have a name for this dish that you think you're going to make or um, are you going to wait till it comes to you? I think I'm going in the direction of something called Nam Tuk Mu, which basically means waterfall pork. And they get that name from the juices that fall into the grill when you're grilling pork, literally. What, in terms of spice level, Derek, what do you usually cook? Um, I like very, very, very spicy. Okay. But I can, I can change it up or not. Do you like spicy? Did you no. Say? No. Okay. The judge I'm is be what careful. That is. <laughs> Mild. I'm making a, a dressing, so I'm using um, a little bit of palm sugar. You can use white sugar. In fact, white sugar is often what is used for this. But I like the flavor of palm sugar, and it was in the pantry, so I'm definitely going to use it. And I think I'm going to marinate the pork in this dressing to kind of give it mm -hmm. post flavor. And what is in that dressing you just made, Derek? Um, so it's it's the sugar, lime juice, and um, a little bit of chili. It's typically with fish sauce, but I added soy for you, and it's gonna be fine. I'm, Perfect. Because really with this, I'm kind of going for like a very acidic dressing, hopefully. So the salt is just a little bit. So what is this you're cutting up now? It is spicy. Lemongrass, very thin, because I hope that you can like eat this like without your teeth kind of not biting down. I hope that you'll enjoy it. So you gotta cut it very thin. Once it's really toasty, by the way. Okay, that's, that's the rice. Oh, yeah, the toasted, the, this is like the, so I didn't really explain this well enough, but this is uncooked rice that you toast in a pan until it's like, you get it really brown. And so this if people is wanted rice. to make this dish at home, what ingredients will they need? What, what ingredients will they need? You'll need a shallot, some lemongrass, any kind of protein or vegetable. You can, you can uh, replace the pork with zucchini, whatever, and just herbs. Any herbs you have will be good. And one of your favorite viewers of the show today, Laura, wants to know where you find the obscure Thai ingredients. Um, Chinatown mm -hmm. in New York or any kind of Asian grocery store, you should be good. 
Now tell me, uh, you're working up a sweat now. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> tell me what you're doing. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Tell me what you're doing now. Um, picking these herbs, I, I like, you know, you can do this and kind of don't mix it together. So, because I want the pork to be kind of marinated in here, but I don't really want the herbs to be getting all soaked up until right at the end. This is my food processor right here, right? <laughs> so, like, you could use a spice grinder if you want, but I'm taking the rice and I'm grinding it to a powder. Oh. Yeah, so I can kind of get some texture. And is that the cooked rice? Yes, it's the, it's the, um, the cooked rice that wasn't steamed. It's okay. the one that's cooked in the pan. The rice should flip like this if you do yeah, it right. Yeah, let's just get a, out. It's like a shot of that. You know? Oh, that's so cool. Are there a certain type of way that you should add the ingredients into this salad? Yeah, I would say that you want to mix the herbs in last, and then put this rice in last because it will thicken things. It's a very, it's like a, it's a thickener. You can put this in soups, and it's going to make it. It's going to thicken it, and it's a gluten-free way to kind of thicken stuff and add nuttiness. Less than a minute. All right. Maybe I'd, I just wash my hands too, don't worry. The time creeps up on you. It does. It really does. Under 20 seconds, you are plating. I'm gonna send Tessa up with her judging panels. Oh, yeah. The leftover makeover challenge. Roberta says this looks delicious. Time is running out. We're good. <laughs> We're all good. Our Describe to viewers what this dish is and what it consists of. Um, so this dish is leftover pork. That was our mystery ingredient here. And I've turned it into a salad, um, mainly because I think, you know, when you have leftover ingredients, you can eat fresh after that. You don't always have to recook it. Um, and it's mixed with toasted rice, which is giving it the nuttiness. And it's going to be sour, a little bit salty. And it should always be eaten with rice. You can eat this with your hand and kind of form it into a ball because it's sticky rice. and then. I would recommend a fork and a spoon for the salad, so you can kind of just so plow it in. So rice first. Rice first, salad. and even like you can eat rice almost like a lettuce leaf kind of thing. You know, if you want to put the things on rice, okay. it's choose okay. your own adventure kind of. Tessa, okay. before you jump in, we're gonna judge it just on presentation. Okay. So I know you're an Instagram <laughs> yes. expert. Based on presentation, score one to ten. What would you give this dish? Yeah. So presentation is key. In the Instagram world, you want your you know your photo to look the best out of everyone else's. So I do love the chili pepper on top. It brings you know a great red color to it. So I'd have to say an eight. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> so Tessa, jump in, okay. give it a taste. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of rice. Do you recommend? like all in one bite or something? Um, I think that you could do the rice for, do, do okay. it combinations, honestly. You'll figure out what you like. Um, rice is amazing. Love rice. Janine says toasted rice, nom. Janet says looks really good. Really but does good. It, I don't want to stop eating it. It's Mona good. That's a good thing. We're winning. <laughs> looks She's eating. so <laughs> yummy licious. Amen. So you've had time to taste it now, Tessa. On a scale of one to ten, what would you give? Oh, I'm like taking Derek's the fork as my thumb. <laughs> on taste, nine. <laughs> nice. So even with the spice, you weren't turned a little, off. It's it's a it's not so spicy, but for me, it's a little spicy. But other than that, I've really never had a Thai pork chop salad. Ooh, so well, welcome to it's welcome really to good. life. Yeah, actually, right? <laughs> she's born today. Right? Uh, Monica says, "Great job. Looks delish." Our last category, creativity. So, creativity? Yes, creativity. Whoa. 10. You got That's a 10 numbers. from Isaac and Lara, as well as Rory. So don't be scared of leftovers. I think that is the moral of today's episode. Yes. Use your pork chops. So thank you, Derek. Thank, thank you, you, Tessa. You're Follow welcome. them on Instagram, Make Bistro and Foodie. And thank you so much for watching Slice. Join us next Tuesday at 5. Bye. Bye.